So we're inside today. No uh, shed, no garden, no bikes. In fact, I've got guitars in the background because it's the uh, home office. But I just took delivery of something special and it's quite apt I'm wearing a Rafa top at the moment because that package indeed was from Rafa. And it's a top I was quite excited about when I very first saw and kind of based on what we saw with the, the Pro Flight jerseys, I knew it was going to sell out really quick. So I put my order in within a day of seeing it and uh, promptly sold out yeah, hours later. So I was pretty lucky to get this one. You probably guessed it by now. In fact, you probably guessed it from the title of the video, but it's the the Legion Pro jersey. And I guess, you know, why is this important? Well, A, I just think it's a lovely design, which we'll hopefully see when we open up the packet in a moment. But I think that it's especially important right now with what's going on in the world to acknowledge that there isn't enough diversity in cycling. And I don't for one second think I have all the answers. In fact, I don't think I have any answers, but I think that the first step to actually doing something about it is to acknowledge that it's not as it should be. So the fact that Rafa has joined up with the Legion team, which is based out of Los Angeles in America and is famously founded by um, a couple of black guys, brothers, um, and, and features black guys, white guys, Hispanics on the, on the team, that's pretty unusual makeup in pro cycling. Um, I think as far as I know, Legion only competes in North America at the moment in the US domestic um, league, whatever you would call that, Peloton Pro Tour. Um, but who knows, maybe they'll get, get a break and maybe they'll be able to expand their operations. If Rafa and others can bring enough attention to them, then maybe we can all support them a little bit uh, more. Anyway, that's enough of the sort of sanctimonious side of things. Uh, let's actually have a look at this jersey and let's decide if it's really as cool in the flesh as it, um, as it looked on the website. So I, I've sort of surreptitiously pulled it out. This is literally the unboxing. I have not seen this in the flesh prior to uh, turning the video camera on. So you're seeing it kind of as, as I am, hence why it still even has paper attached. But there we go. My first impression is it looks a little generous on size for a small, but let's see what it's actually like uh, when it's on. And we'll probably do some miraculous Scooby-Doo effect so that I can transition into uh, actually trying it on. But um, yeah, you know, Rafa quality as always, really good. It feels lovely. Um, the arms look like they're gonna be nice and tight without being uh, restrictive. I kind of wish they'd done the uh, the Legion logo a little bit bigger as per the actual um, team kit, you know, the, the real team kit. This is a replica jersey. It's not, you know, an, whatever the word is, it's, it's not an exact copy of what the uh, team race in, given especially they race in one pieces. And of course, this is just a jersey, which actually does throw up the um, the challenge of what the hell are you going to wear with it? Are you just going to wear black shorts or are you going to wear blue shorts? Um, anyway, we'll get to that in a moment. So. Let's see what it actually looks like. I told you it'd be Scooby-Doo. So here it is. It's close fitting, but it definitely is reasonably generous. I mean, I'm only a 36 inch chest. So I think small technically is sort of up to 38 in Rafa. So if you were a bit broader than me, you'd still fit it okay. Um, I do like the arms. Again, I think they could probably be a bit tied to fitting. Um, I don't have skinny cyclists arms and even I would say that yeah, they're not baggy but they could be tighter. Neck's really good though. I actually think that's a really good fit. Probably haven't got that quite right. Just realised. There we go. I'll play with that while we're going along. Um, obviously you can't see because of the uh, the angle that i am uh, got the camera at at the moment but um, it's nice and sort of reasonably high cut around the belly, which means that, you know, when you're bent over on the bike, it should, shouldn't should ruffle up too much, which I think is, um, as a failing, a lot of jerseys get that wrong. You know, for me especially, they tend to, even though I select a small size, the body will be too long. And therefore, when you actually try to go into an aggressive position, the shirt just all rumples up or the jersey rumples up and it, you know, whatever aero benefit you're supposed to be getting by having a second skin type of fit, you lose straight away. The back, 
I haven't really looked at the back myself, but it's, yeah, you know, it fades out a little quickly for my liking. I kind of would have liked some of that design to come a bit lower, but um, I mean, it's very, very smart. It's going to be interesting to see um, what it goes with best in terms of, you know, shorts, because again, they wear one pieces. You can clearly see that in the Legion team photos. So they have blue shorts or at least a blue bottom to the one piece suit that they're wearing. Rafa don't do a blue short to match this top, as far as I'm aware. Could be wrong. So I'm going to have to see if there's anything in my fast cycling wardrobe that's going to match this, or whether it's just going to have to be a, a black pair of shorts. But I think, you know, a plain white sock is going to probably work best, because I think you're going to struggle to find anything that really match this. Anyway, first impressions, it's Rafa. It's very good quality. It fits well, albeit not as tight as I would like it. Um, do like the, uh, the the I don't even know if you'd call that tiger stripes or swoosh or whatever the hell, but I do like the design. If you're lucky enough to have one of these on the way, then I think you're going to be very pleased with it. And if you weren't lucky enough to get in on the first um, order, who knows? They'll probably restock at some point. They did with the Pro Flight just recently. Um, or keep an eye on the second hand market because I suspect there's going to be a fair few of these making an appearance there. Anyway, there you go. Uh, I will post another one when I've matched it up and everything and done a full kit review.